is an electric presence of, you know, of millions of volts, you know, that a human being would have a very, very difficult time to actually withstand the contact with an archangel, if the archangel would really allow you to feel him completely, he would just go like a mosquito, you know, and just let it in the flame. And it is for that reason that the entire process that we have to prepare the human being through years of practices, yoga asanas, breathing exercises, meditation, this is a process that takes not only decades or an entire life, this is a process that takes really, you know, lifetimes and lifetimes, okay? Because the body needs to be prepared for the impact of God-realization. So, we have the term transverberation. If you, if you go on Google and look up transverberation, and Teresa of Avila, then you will find some very interesting material. What happens in the transverberation? The heart experiences the, the divine. And the, the explosion is so massive that they have actually discovered um, in the heart of Teresa of Avila an actual physical wounding. Now that is absolutely, this is like another mystery, this is a miracle. They found a physical wounding in the heart of Teresa of Avila and believe it, some other saints also. Padre Pio also talked about um, the transverberation of the heart and he also mentioned that the, the agony of this experience was immense. So this combination of agony and ecstasy, uh, when I talk about that, um, this is not just something that happens to me and you cannot trace that anywhere. You can actually trace that some, in some other sources. All you have to just do is look into Google and, you know, Transverberation of the Heart, Teresa of Avila, Padre Pio, and you'll find similar stories, or actually the same stories um, that will confirm um, what I'm talking about. And, and that's what happens when, when this happens, when, when God comes near, it's like infinity and this incredible presence, this incredible presence approaches you. And your entire, being, your entire being is in shock. And you just cry. And this crying, um, there's also historical um, situations where uh, mystics, were known to have said, well, after I became awakened, I cried for three days. Basho. Basho, one of the great Zen mystics, uh, who was very famous for his poems and his haikus, uh, they said that when he became enlightened, he cried for three days. I completely understand. How could you not? Cry for three, three days. That's that's actually not a lot. You, mean you cry for three weeks because you're taken home. Okay, you are allowed home. So, so how could you not cry for three days? 